So, welcome to the stream. First time trying this out. Uh, tonight I'm going to be working on <clears throat> setting these uh, playable characters for a video game that I'm creating called Shopping Brawl. Uh, trying to set these guys up for animation, get them all ready. I'm working in Adobe Animate. So, what I have so far here, I'll pull this out in case you're curious. So the game's going to have six selectable players. Uh, it's going to be like an arcade style beat em up, like uh, TMNT, Double Dragon, stuff like that. Uh, so I uh, have these guys set up so far. Uh, this is all based on a webcomic that I used to do. Uh, called Kiosk Life in Neutral, and we uh, did that for a couple years. It's about uh, you know some guys who work in the mall. Uh, so I'm gonna get moving on setting up Rex for uh, for animation work here. So I have everybody on their own layer, even though I don't have the layers locked. There we go. Uh, so we'll just get started here. Uh, if anybody joins in, has any questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, I may or may not be able to check out the uh, chat. Let's see if I can do that real quick. That way I can see your guys' questions if they come up. Pop right on over here. Alright. Okay, I see everything right there. Alright. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I may be quiet for a little bit. Uh, I may not be. Um, try and talk through this as we go. So, I kind of have, at this point, kind of have my process pretty well down. Uh, you know, I've been working with these characters for so long that I really know kind of what that what I want them to look like here. Um, and I've kind of refined all the sketches. I did all the sketching in CS Paint uh, to kind of get them down uh, into the new style that I have developed for the game. Um, so I know what they need to look like here. And uh, just go from there. This needs to be. So. Right. Needs to be a little more point. There we go. I don't adhere directly to the sketches, uh, just because a they're super rough, and b I know exactly what I want this to look like. So, I kind of stops a certain point of the way through the sketching because I know I'm just gonna just gonna this mouth is maybe a little too thick there. Yeah, it's got worse. This is going to be its own, going to be its own. So I kind of flop back and forth between using the object tools, the line tools, and the brush tools. Uh, again, just because I've been using Flash slash Animate for so long. Um, I actually used to do Kiosk in Flash uh, for a long time until I got CS Paint and uh, really loved the brush engine in that. <clears throat> but for the longest time it was just basically the line tool uh, and a lot of manipulation to get exactly what I wanted. And we'll fix these these um, 
abrupt stops here. We'll fix those later uh, to taper them down, as you can see with um, uh, with Jake's. They kind of come to more of a tapered edge here. Uh, there's a lot that I need to fix with him too. Like his arm needs to be fixed here and here, but we'll get there. Oh, I forgot you can't see my can't see my uh, my pointer. I should probably fix that next time. But uh, if I come over here, whoops, I'll come back over here so you can see that they taper here. And uh, I was gonna fix this area here with him so that those those two points taper as well. So and his hand as well. His hands are in need of some fixing as well. The style has changed just slightly with the hands. Anyway, that's not quite what I want. Now, Rex has. In. More of a brown. Yeah, so he has his nose and one of the signatures of my style is that they give my give my characters some wrinkles on their noses here so <clears throat> Internal lines are one point less as thick. And again, it's a style that I kind of, uh, I've kind of just worked out in my own head. I have my own methods to my madness here. I just uh, like the look of it. I like the look of a thicker outline, a thinner uh, internal line. Uh, when it comes to like vector line work for characters. This line will be deleted later. I'm actually going to reduce its thickness just so I know that that goes away. Another group. Also get deleted. Actually, up there a little bit. Back into the nose. The nose will also have a line that gets deleted. Uh, and just for ease, I duplicate this eye. And I will 
modify, transform, flip horizontal, and I will shrink it down, kind of go in here, this can come over here, put this in this, uh, can still be squished a little bit, we're going to move it over here, and kind of do this with it because it needs to go about here and still be there and we still have a pretty good line there and I actually have to go in and manipulate this a little bit uh, by deleting that deleting that to about there because we still need to have it cover the eyeball. Should do it. I'm going to make sure we're in the hierarchy there. What I'll do here is I'm going to grab his skin color. Ooh. in here so this doesn't look so jumbled anymore so come into the nose color it up come into the eye come into the eye Br uh, uh, lid cover it up delete that and there we go that's not bad I'm going to do I'm going to make this line a different color so I don't so he's actually going to have So, I still have to do the hair on him, but I should be able to cut right there, and straight down here, kind of curve that in a little bit to follow the ear line, and I'm going to change the color here to give him more of a 5 o'clock shadow. Maybe. So I'm going to pull it down, not quite that much, let's see what that looks like, that looks pretty good to me, there we go, 5 o'clock shadow, now not a 5 o'clock shadow but an actual ear shadow goes in here, I also have to do another ear line, right there, oops, that's the problem with that. Shadow and his ear. Yeah, looking pretty good so far. Alright, All right. so we're going to do, do his hair here. His hair is going to be a little. His is going to be up off of his head, covering it up. So, we have to do. Maybe 
this. And it, I'm keeping my line thin and blue because another rule I have for my characters in this style is hair does not have an outline. Uh, again, it may seem kind of silly, uh, but it is a rule that I've kind of set for these guys. Uh, almost from the very beginning, I think, when I was doing the webcomic, uh, hair didn't have outlines to it. Um, I just feel it looks better. Uh, again, there's no real rhyme or reason for it. I just feel that it looks uh, it looks better, in my opinion. Uh, that didn't really do what I wanted it to do. has a little bit of a sideburn, but nothing too, nothing too bad. And if I do this, hopefully it will fit properly. And then I'll use this to make better stray hairs here in the back. His little colic bunny ears that he's got going on. Back here, there's one. Duplicate that. Can I do that with it? Delete, 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 delete. There we go. That's pretty good for his hair. Uh, so, now what I gotta do is get his hair colored right. He's also a brunette. No brown haired guys here. Got a redhead. We got a bunch of brunettes. That's pretty much due to the fact that uh, I've based everybody off of people that I know originally, um, at least in look. So looks are pretty much uh, as as they should be. Tiny gap there. I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna try and do a little hair thing here. Now, what I also have to do here is this hair is looking kind of just dead. So, a little bit of a, a little bit of a Give the hair a little bit of character here. So. Again, um, thanks for anybody who's checking it out or checks it out later appreciate it um, this uh, this whole thing's been a long labor of love for me uh, and still will be it's still still far far way to go uh, until this is ready to to be seen um, in its completion I'm hoping to have a demo by summertime uh, showcasing uh, the combat and the characters and the storyline um, perhaps I'll go to Kickstarter after that and we'll, we'll see 
Um, but I have uh, a couple more things to add to him, and we'll be all set. So in in the eyes, we need to have let me do this. We need to have and again these eyebrows. We will lose the outline for them because all eyebrows are black just so they can be seen. And I'll do this with it, kind of round that out a little bit. And kind of add these. Kind of don't like how that came out. There we go. And I can do this with it. So it's obvious he's mad fighting uh, demon infested mall goers uh, so the premise of the game is and like I said it is set in the world that I created when I created kiosk life and neutral so these guys all worked in a mall um, kind of avoided work wherever they could and uh, got into some silly antics uh, a few different times. And uh, so the premise of this is, uh, if you've ever read the comic, and even if you haven't, there is a, uh, there was a character um, that was basically the devil. He was a devil. Um, his name is Lou. And uh, so basically Lou gets bored a lot. And um, this time he got bored and wanted to uh, have some fun. So he called forth demons from hell, and they all possessed the mall walkers and uh, other patrons of the mall. Uh, so that's what you're fighting. You're fighting through them to figure out what exactly is going on. Jake shows up to work. Uh, he's got to close that night, so he shows up to work, and all these people are going nuts, so he starts fighting his way through, and these guys pretty much had disdain for the people of the mall anyway so uh it's not like you have to push them very hard to fight these people um so that's pretty much it so far um still developing the finer points of the story but i think uh I think it's a fun premise. I mean, it, it, it's a beat em up. It doesn't have to exactly Shakespeare. Uh, so, obviously, here we go. We have uh, Rex wears glasses. He, uh, he's kind of like the. Uh, tech savvy guy of the group he uh, owns his own business doesn't really need to work at the mall he just kind of does it so he can hang out with his friends um, so he uh, he'll have some special attacks that'll basically be like uh, tech based uh, throwing iPhones and stuff like that to uh injure people um, we have a couple other characters here we'll go through we can go through them real quick now that I've got pretty much a set head set up I just have to do his lenses his glasses but uh, here we have Farouk who uh, is very loosely based on um, former WWF wrestler Farouk and uh, he owns a bar um, he still has his wrestling belt and his, his leotard. And uh, he owns a bar that the guys go to. Uh, this is Jake. He was the main character of the whole thing. He um, works at a t-shirt kiosk uh, where you go and you get your picture taken and get it put on a whole bunch of different junk. Uh, hates his job. Hates customers. Uh, uh, Rex, who's his best friend, who I, you know, 
just says he owns his own business. Doesn't really need to work at the mall, but he does it anyway so he can hang out with his friends. Uh, this is Candace. She, uh, she works as a security in a department store. Um, Jake's love interest. Uh, and here's Stevie. He has a basically a Green Lantern ring. Um, so his his specials will become you'd be use, use of that that ring. He uh, uh, owns and operates the comic book store within the mall called the Mall of Justice. And this is Chuck, who's kind of just like a slacker. Um, never really nailed down whether or not he actually worked at the mall. Just uh, was always there, uh, smoking all the time. Doesn't care about no smoking signs. Um, his special will actually be like ninja based stuff, and that's based off of. Uh, some of the strips that I had from before. There's some little Easter eggs from anybody who used to be a fan or used to read the stories. Um, my hope is to actually do like a preview uh, comic that sets up the whole thing, the whole story, and uh, get that out and actually have that come with uh, come with the games. At the very least, you could get a digital download of it and, and uh, check that out. Um, So that is that. So we're just gonna throw a very barely trans, barely seeable. Um, but what we will do is I will do one of these things. Where we get some reflection off of it. I'm sure there's probably easier ways to do some of the things that I do, um, but I am mostly self-taught on this, uh, on Flash and stuff, so um, I kind of just have my ways of doing things. And I know that's got a lot more, um, a lot more cool things that you can do, like lip syncing now and parenting and all that, but um haven't had the chance to really take a good look at it to see if it would be advantageous of me to even use it. So here we just transfer these into, turn these into uh, fills instead of so we can manipulate the ends into looking tapered. Um, it's a very small thing, but it's um, something that I really wanted to add in. I think it makes it look better uh, overall. So, there's Rex's head. So, these will all be turned into symbols. Everything inside here will be turned into symbols, much like Jake is right now. Jake's the only one actually set up and animated. Um, so, everything that's a group. Uh, it gets turned into its own symbol. And actually, even the base of it here, if I can deselect everything else I have. The eyes there. Can't really get to them. Um, let's see if I can actually do this. So we have groups of everything here. We get the whole head as a group and figures. This. No. Yes, 
Come on. So we have everything here all, all grouped together. So each grape, each thing is its own, like this will be its own thing. And inside of it, I'll have all the different things. I'll, ch I'll show you guys what how, uh, how I have Jake all f set up for right now. Uh, just to find where he is here. Which one is he? It's Farouk. There's Jake right there. So Jake is a symbol that you can tell by the blue bounding box. Uh, you go inside of him, and he's actually all set up on layers here. I'll, uh, so those are his layers. I should probably label them. But this is his uh, getting punched animation. Oof. Right? Puh! And he returns back to idle. So, uh, so I've got, you know, his arm, his head, his body his leg, his pelvis, his other leg, and his other arm. Um, and then if I go inside the head, we've got all the different things here. And these are the only two frames I have in here. Uh, but I have hair, I have his nose, his eyes, his mouth, uh, his whole head, his ear is actually separated just because of the way I have the hair set up. Uh, so, and then there's front hair, which I think is here and here, and then everything else is the back. But uh, that's how he's set up. And then even even if I go in here, I think I have his fist separated from yeah, fist and arm. Uh, those are just groups though like they're a symbol but inside of they're just grouped up because um it doesn't really I'm not doing any kind of swapping or anything so uh, I'm just doing some some sometimes just doing straightforward animation inside those symbols so um, it doesn't really matter uh, all that much because uh, I'm just I'm trying to fine-tune things um, and everything usually needs to be manipulated in one way or another um, but if even if you look at his animation, like I do puppets and stuff, uh, like the the head just moves down uh, as he gets uh, as he gets hit. Um, I have to add a uh, um, so the attack from the enemy. Uh, not exactly sure where I, I'm probably put it on him actually. Uh, add the effect of him getting hit, like a, a flash of of him getting hit. Um, but let's go back into here now. So I have him, and inside him is a bunch of groups, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm actually going to grab these, group them again, so that now I just have one big group that I'm going to put everything else in. Uh, next I'll probably work on his body. So I gotta go back to size three, flip those back around, go back to square, and uh, just kind of make a group and go to it. So we're doing this, like this, and this to this. So. Where is it? No, that one. And like I said, my internal lines oops, are uh, smaller. So I can definitely do some collar here. So there's that, and then that goes below his head. I kind of gave him, uh, him a little bit more of an upright uh, 
uh, fists up in the air type of uh, stance. Uh, Farouk's got that I'm a big brawler uh, uh, look. Jake's just got a I'm angry and I don't know how to fight look. Uh, Rex has his kind of fists up in, in front of his face. Um, uh, Candace is like basically all ready to go. She's going to actually have taped up her whole forearms are going to be taped up into her wrist. She's ready to fight. She, uh, she's used to fighting people uh, in her job, so she's got she's going to be all ready to do this. Um, he's kind of angry. Has one arm, you know, kind of out straight, and then just pounds with his right heart, right hand that has that ring. And then uh, Chuck's kind of all hunched over too, uh, just kind of varied up those uh, those main stances here. Uh, I'm going to hit the save button here so I can save that. Uh, I will actually open up some of the other stuff I have. Uh, let's see, who else do I have? I have some enemies. Also. I have an enemy set up and actually have him animated a little bit. Your basic run of the mill uh, thug, if you will. Um, you know. No real, uh, there we go, knife-wielding thug here. So let's get back over here. Uh, so I have, actually have all his animations set up here. Um, his walk cycle I gotta work on. I'm not too happy with it. Um, I need to pull that stride down a little bit, I think. Um, but he's just, he's gonna be like level one, uh, generic thug, and he'll come in different colors. Um, so here we've got stab. Actually, I set this up so that the stab animation and the hit animation both work together. So we've got here, if I can, that's the walk cycle. Here we go. All right, so here's the stab. The stab, we've got some stuff on it. I'm fine with that. That's a perfectly fine, just generic uh, bad guy attack. I'm going to attack you, and you'll see that I got some blood effects uh, going on for the hit. Um, so that's why I kind of set this guy up across from him because this is the hit uh, animation. So <laughs> he looks like he's getting stabbed by his buddy. His twin buddy's stabbing him in the face. Um, but if we make that guy go away, this is just the uh, this is hit animation. So he's uh, every time he gets punched, this is um, so that's generic bad guy number one. That's uh, he's actually named enemy 01. Uh, he's pretty set to go. I mean, I could. Um, I need to do a death animation for him. Um, but for the most part, he's he's all set. Uh, I have actually set up the first mini boss as well. Um, right here. So, here he is. He owns the pet store. Uh, people may recognize this guy from, uh, if, they've, if they've seen Kiosk at all, uh, this was the guy that was asking uh, if that was the place that did mugs when there's signs everywhere that said that they do mugs. Um, I've named him Carl. He's the pet store owner, and uh, one of his animations is... Uh, this uh, this throw here, one of his attacks is a is a throw, so he kind of goes from his idle pose, and he rears back with a fish bowl, and shoves it, throws it, throws it across, pretty much the entire screen, and then it hits the ground and smashes, or it hits you and smashes, uh, and the poor fish just. <laughs> Pops out of there. We could play that real fast. Throw. Um, so that's that's one of his one of his attacks. Another attack will be uh, he six his parrot on you, so his parrot will fly off and attack. And another one will be he'll call for um, a stampede of uh, dogs and cats that will come stampeding across the ground, and you'll have to kind of jump over it uh, to avoid it. But he's just a mini boss, and he's actually not possessed by demons. He's just a jerk, and uh, hates you. And you just beat him up uh, to get past him to continue on the first level.
and the levels will be set up where it's um, the lower level of the mall is level one. So you go you go throughout the lower level of the mall. You get to the other end, uh, where which is actually the kiosk where Jake works, um, and then that the boss will be there, and then uh, the main boss will be there. You'll have to fight uh, this guy in the middle, uh, but um, the main boss will be there. And you'll fight that, and then uh, you'll go to the food court which is also on the lower level, so you kind of backtrack a little bit on uh, lower level of the mall, and then you fight in the food court, which the food court will basically be uh, two or three screens wide where you have to kind of go back and forth to beat up all the um, the Boy Scout troops that are there. They're, uh, they're actually they're going to be uh, possessed by demons, but they're a Boy Scout troop because for some reason Boy Scouts always camp out the mall. Uh, so you'll be fighting them, and they'll have Nerf guns and uh, stuff like that to fight you with. And then you'll fight the boss of that level, um, and then you'll take the elevator, and then the elevator will be its own level, uh, where you'll be attacked by um, security guards inside the elevator. So that'll be a vertical level where it's just a it's an auto scroller that goes up, and you fight them. And then you get to the top, and you'll fight the you'll do the the upper level of the mall, uh, where you go from one end to the other fight the boss there the boss there will destroy part of the roof of the mall so you'll be able to see outside uh and see where all this chaos is coming from which is across the parking lot at the uh quote-unquote decent purchase store which is um you know the best buy uh <laughs> the best buy of the kiosk world um you'll see that that you know that's you can tell that that's where all the power and the evil is emanating from uh so you'll have to um so in, in a, in a cutscene, you know, everybody will get down from the roof and into the parking lot. So you fight your way through the parking lot. Um, you fight another boss there and then you get inside, uh, the Best Buy store and then you fight, um, through the main floor, um, fight a mini boss to enter the employee only room, which actually is a portal to hell. And then the last level, uh, will be, you'll be fighting through a level of hell. And then the last boss will be uh, Lou in some form or another. I haven't uh, come up with his final his final form. Maybe may a couple stages to him. Um, but uh, so far that's what I have planned out to do with it. Uh, let's get back to making Rex ready to go here. Um, so all the pelvises I've made are... Um, basically circular oval again I kind of set everything up in its own group um, doo -doo -doo. Okay. let's see he should come down in here um, I'll make it a little more of an oval shape. Circle there. Um, kind of pull it up a little bit. Put the weight right there. I'm going to turn this whole thing into a fill. So I can just do into it. Did not go the way I wanted it to, but we can fix it. No, we can't. Let's, let's get out of hand a little bit when you accidentally don't grab the right vertice. Might be as good as it gets. That's gonna be a one. So I remember to delete it. And that goes behind. This leg here. So the trick here is all these legs are actually middle of the leg. 
legs, kind of bendy legs here. I kind of do the same thing with the elbows on the on the arms instead of having them be, you know, hard uh, elbows and pointy. They kind of are amorphous and they can kind of bend at certain other places. Um, almost rubber rubber hosey, but not quite. And then uh, this is actually going to have pants that are a little sh shorter, maybe. Yeah, maybe not. I might be able to fix this. Here. Just a little work it out. So this still will be a little bit shorter, but Let's see if I can make that. There we go, smoother. So. Yeah, so, so this is going to be grouped by itself here, and then you make another group, and make the shoes, so it's going to go there to there, do that, so that's that, uh, give them a bit of a the shoe, not too much. Again, with the thinner So there's that, and there's that will go behind here. And I'm actually going to copy that because that will be working for his back foot as well. Um, real quick here. So his shoe should actually be up higher. I'm trying to line everybody's feet up. Right there. Which means. Nope. Yeah, that's just trouble. Let's try that again. This time just do. for me. So the leg needs to be under the shirt, but over the pelvis. And then the next leg, the back leg, I'm actually going to pull from here. Yeah, and like I said, these are kind of rubber hosey legs. They kind of will bend where I need them to, more or less. Uh, not necessarily where they absolutely should, but uh, we'll make it look good in the animation phase. Uh, here's where I can paste that foot and move it forward. It's about there. And then should be able to do one of these again. his legs there. He's got a bit of a longer leg. He's a little taller than Jake. Um, even though Jake's hunched over a little bit more as well. Just has bad posture, really. Sitting in front of a computer all the time. I think we can all relate to that. Uh, now it's time to do these arms here. Arms are a little trickier. Um, not super tricky. But they can be a little bit trickier. Uh, I got pretty much what I wanted on that one. So. Yeah. 
so he has like Jake he has a black long sleeve shirt underneath um turn that whole thing into a fill so you can get that taper down look I'm looking for so he's got a sleeve here there so that's his arm. What we're gonna do is fist here. So uh, a few days ago, I kind of decided that everybody's fist is gonna kind of just be squared off a little bit more than I had been doing. Um, still have some round elements to them. But not completely. So, uh, and then the fingers and stuff are all going to be kind of squared off as well, and uh, which is why I have to kind of fix kind of have to fix Jake uh, his hands and stuff uh, and some of the tapering needs to be fixed as well on him but um so kind of want to have like a knuckle line and uh, there's the there's a little bit more Should be able to get away with just turning this little piece into just to get that. Bit of a taper in there. And pull back, see if that's the way I want to look. Then the knuckle thing might be a little thick at the top. So let's Pull it in a little bit. Um, pull it back a little bit more. That's looking pretty good uh, for the fist there. So there's that arm. And that arm needs to be all the way up front. And then we'll do the back arm here. Back arm should be a little bit easier just because it's the back arm. Um, and shapes are a little bit easier to hit on the back arm. Let's see. Do do do. Pretty easy. Um, pull this up a little bit more just to taper it in a little. Round it out. Uh, and then we have this that we should do that with. it up so oh what's that too so with these kind of do one of these things see and then the hands the fingers will all have these straight lines at the end like you can you can kind of see over in the box for uh, on the right, the box on the, in the library there, you can see one of Chuck's arms. You can see his thumbs are also very straight in, straightened. And then I kind of do the wavy back of the hand uh, to simulate the, the, curl, the curl of the hand. Um, these go like that. And we'll do that. That. And that. Pretty good. And over there. 
this off of this. And then this and that. Looks pretty good. better uh, taper 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 uh, modify shape convert lines of fills if you can kind of see where that pretty good uh, and then we can exit out here and we've got all those line work done I just need to do some quick color in here so these hands here okay 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 I should turn this off now and then back in here and back in here there we go hands are good and then this should be one shade up from black. And then this is green. And it should be all the way in the back. We'll go in here. Should also be behind the pelvis. Now, his leg needs to be cut there. That's not what I meant to do. I think he's going to wear some khakis. Uh, so, kind of a khaki colored pants here.
the last thing I do is I actually will go ahead and um, turn his leg, his back leg, and his back arm into symbols just so I can adjust the brightness on those to make them uh, about 15% uh, darker. Hold on, let me send that all the way to the back. Uh, I make them, yeah, 15% darker so you could tell they're in the back. And so there's Rex. Pretty set. Uh, he has some adjustments I have to do. Uh, head size should be a little bit bigger. So let me. I guess I'm actually going to turn off. There we go. Move it forward some. So there's Rex, all set to go. So we got five now. Five out of six done. Set to go. Um, the reason I gave him khaki pants is I kind of, uh, I don't want everybody wearing jeans. Um, I already have three, three people wearing jeans. He'll be wearing khakis. Uh, Chuck wears camo shorts and socks and sandals. Uh, and uh, Candace wears uh, black capri pants. Um, so I think that's where we're going to end for tonight. Um, appreciate anybody who checks this out or has checked it out. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do this a little bit more often. Uh, so uh, I'm also going to be starting a gaming stream as well. We're we'll all play some old games. Um, so have fun. Uh, hope you guys have a good night and, uh, hope to stream again for you guys soon. Uh, thanks a lot.